Welcome back to my allotment. It's the middle of June 2017. Just a little update. Um, feeling a bit better about myself now. Got right back into the allotment. Um, thanks for your kind messages, everyone. Um, as you can see, got some collies growing here. Some broccoli there, which we've had. Cool rabby. Obviously, the pigeons really enjoyed that. I've uh, been struggling with spring onions uh, in the ground. Um, two packets, nothing. Put them in pots, as you can see. Bosh. Someone left a uh, buggy up, a kid's buggy up there, which I didn't think was very appropriate, but that's some sick people, I'm afraid. Oh, I haven't touched it. Um, chickens, still molting. Um, any, can anyone give me any idea? It's, it's been quite a while now, I think about March time they, they started to molt, but had to lose one. Um, she had a couple of problems. Uh, didn't want to uh, distress her anymore. So someone kindly disposed of it. But that's unfortunate, it's one of those things I'm afraid. Your bypass there. Uh, pulled a couple of buckets of potatoes, uh, new potatoes. Um, nice, nice size, really good, really pleased with it. Um, they're the Charlottes and they're the main ones. Rear guard, I think they're called. Um, but yeah, doing all right. It's very, very hot here. Um, as I pulled up, it was about 31 degrees. Obviously, greenhouse, well, trying to keep the doors open and everything it says 49.5 in there at the moment so i'm not going to be in there too long because it is whew. uh pull me garlic which i yeah, but yeah okay yeah i've got a nice little stash there uh, me one elephant garlic mm. <laughs> but it had these little nodules on there so if i dry them out can i Use them for next year, maybe. Uh, salad, uh, something got in there and dug about, kicked most of it up, managed to sort of replant some of it. Uh, see what it does. Uh, cucumbers, doing really well. I mean, they're up right up to the window now. Uh, really fanning out. Um, had to dig out uh, this here. Because, um, I don't know if you remember, I got blight in here last year. I only got it on the left-hand side. But I dug it all out, disposed of that soil. And no point in putting soil back in there, really. I'm just going to, as I get paving slabs, I'm just going to build it up and put paving slabs in there. Leave the, leave the uh, what do you call it, path higher and just keep them lower. Wherever I want the stuff. Uh, see, more spring onions. Really well. Got absolutely nothing off of the gooseberries, the red currant, and the black currant, and the blueberry. Got nothing off them this year. Uh, planting some strawberries, as you can see, all the way down there. Um, getting a handful every couple of days. No, so, oh, I ain't gonna lie, not many of them go out, get home. They're usually eating. Uh, the tomato plants that someone kindly gave me, yeah, they're doing really well. But these three here, they're sort of kind of yellowy. I don't know if they need a, a splash of something, I don't know. I've asked people and no one really wants to make a decision on it. So if anyone can tell me, be fantastic. A uh, gherkin plant uh, that appeared in here. I don't even know who gave it to me. Uh, made a few more netting because the pigeons have been horrendous this year. Uh, I've got me purple sprout and broccoli. And me runner beans. Yeah, they're doing really well. Looking forward to them. Uh, peas, first year. First year, I've actually got peas. Uh, we got rocket. Where are we? There, got rocket and spinach. 
Well, I'm just pulling the leaves as and when I want them. Uh, we'll go over our courgette. I've got courgette plant in there. Which is it? Going yellow again. Uh, roses are doing well. They're starting to bud. Onions. They're starting to bulk up the leeks in there because the leeks and onions. Uh, sorry, the leeks and the garlic was here. But they all went a bit mushy. So I've just used this bed and I'm just. As soon as radishes, they pop up. They. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll grow another row, but them two seem to have sort of they popped up. The right hand one popped up, so I planted the left hand one, and the left hand one's overtaken the right hand one. Oh, I don't know. Give up. Beetroot. I'm getting beetroot this year. Uh, white rose bush, and that one. That's a lovely colour rose bush. I'll show you this one, guys. <coughs> but these are uh, these roses. They're a lovely colour. Really, really pleased with them. But yeah, beetroot, my carrots. You know, they're, they're absolutely flying. Um, pak choy. <laughs> uh, couldn't eat it quick enough. Uh, it's all going to seed. But the girls love it. Sweet corn. Had a couple um, just fall over. Didn't make the grade. There you go. Trees, I'm getting a lot of fruit this year. Me pear tree, he fell over. Had to sort of prop it up. But I've got some more brassicas in here. But look at me uh, Brussels sprouts. They must be, what, two and a half foot tall? Already with sunflowers over there. Um, oh, built a... Uh, <coughs> built this cage. Because... Basically, stop the, the white butterfly and the pigeons, and also it gives them a bit of protection from the wind. Because someone told me, the more the plant moves, the more chance you've got the sprouts blowing. Which okay, let's see if it happens. So there, me sunflowers are coming up. But yeah, I don't think see. I'm getting a good crop of. Uh, Pears there, um, plums. This tree's got a lot. Of, whoop, whoop. This tree's got a lot of plums on. I mean, they've got a lot. The apple tree. Yeah, getting a lot, but I'm getting a lot of ants up and down the trees. Cherries, getting a few cherries. Uh, Oh, in a few, I see them up there. Oh, yeah, look, there's a nice bunch there. Oh, they're, they're gonna have to go home. Well, I think in theory they'll go home, but they must get eaten before they get home. But I've been been given a friend of mine uh, doing uh, fencing, he's been giving me these uh, eight foot lengths of fo uh, five by five, and I've been making new borders. Because the old ones were just rotting away, which it does. So, and a bit more sturdy. If you don't fall of them, like I just did. Uh, but yep, there's a new border there. Um, Reboarded this one. And this one here. Anyway, it's Jay signing off. Hope everyone's okay. Um, don't get that much time to watch the videos uh, nowadays, but I do keep up with a lot of people. And I uh, hope everyone's doing, having a great season. Oh, uh, just going to show you the opposite. So a couple have taken over. Uh, nice couple, a couple of young kids. And they've taken these two over. Here, and... Literally within a few weeks, he's got that flat, he's cleared it, found a wasp's nest under the tree, but that was funny. But this guy here who built this contraption.